G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the first video in a uh, new build series that uh, I've been teasing for the last couple of weeks while I waited for this to arrive. Uh, the Santisma Trinidad by uh, Artisan, uh, Artisania Latina. Uh, it's 184 scale which makes it uh, 120 centimetres long and nearly 900 or 90 centimetres tall so it's quite a large ship. Um, yeah, as I said, it's been on a bit of a world tour. It went through six countries and 14 different cities before finally getting to Melbourne here in Australia. It then spent two weeks in um, uh, customs where they just decided it was a suspicious um, package. So they ended up opening it and going through it and fortunately it looks like everything uh, should still be there. It doesn't look like it's really been touched too badly. Um, so yeah, I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll take a look at what's in the box. Uh, I think it's for a limited time, but if you ordered the ship in the first couple of weeks of release, they gave you a free um, paint set to use uh, with the ship. Uh, the same colours that they've used in the uh, model they displayed on their uh, website. Uh, I also ordered the um, uh, lighting kit because I'm going to have my first attempt at lighting a ship. So uh, I got that as well. Uh, they've given me a gift of a knife set to use which is good because mine is just about um, no good. got all the um, photo etch uh, pieces up for the uh, officers quarters running around to the side also looks like we've got uh, hinges and also a uh, name plate so that lights a bit bright let me turn that away So yeah, uh, that's the nameplate that I'm guessing will go on to the uh, display stand. Got some uh, ropes, cannons, actually that's pretty well all that's in this one, cannons. I'm thinking I'm actually going to replace all these uh, ropes and use uh, ropes of scale. Because I found on the Salil even the ropes are not great quality. Got some uh, brass, some little cannonballs in there. Then we've got uh, some dead eyes and blocks, single and double, in there, and get some more cannons. Then. I'm glad to see they're actually using proper dead eyes, unlike uh, the Salir which just had the laser cut ones. Some more uh, metal pieces, got some oars, anchors, uh, the ship's um, uh, wheel some other bits and pieces that I'm not sure what they are yet. Uh, ropes. Again, as I said, I'll probably uh, not use these and I'll use uh, ropes of scale. Uh, we have some um, flags. Uh, I'll see if I can open that up. Oh, that's the um, copper for the hull. As I said, some um, flags. A 
need some uh, templates for use on the deck for that one. So that's uh, glass for the windows. And then we're going to be uh, doing the floor, tiled floor of the uh, cabin. And that's, uh, I believe that will also go over the top to give it a certain look, but we'll know more about that when we get to it. Um, another template. That's uh, for the um, cannon holes template to uh, work out where all they go. Uh, just a moment. Uh, more ropes, brass nails. Some chain as well. Uh, just a moment, I'll make some more room and I'll uh, keep going. Okay, we've also um, got some of the wood. I thought that might be for uh, planking. And they actually have each lot bundled with what size they are, so you don't have to go uh, searching. More, two millimeters by five. Uh, they're 0.5 strips, as well as some um, brass pieces in there as well yeah we got um, five by one millimeters one by four certainly a lot of wood in the kit more two by five so i would say this is uh all for planking i would say Then we have our uh, masts and spars as well. One more bit. Um, can't read that one. It's two millimetres by... Actually, it looks like it's two millimetres by two millimetres. It could be of various sizes in there. It looks like there's some three by three and four by four as well. So that's in there as well. Uh, just get a knife to open up this package. getting into the uh, laser cut boards so they're uh, the covers for the uh, gun ports well some other bits and pieces that would be the um, stand for the ship And again, that would be for the uh, stands as well. And then we have some um, guides for what parts, what. Um, lighting's not great here. I'm doing this at the night because I simply couldn't wait, I'm afraid. And the lighting in my shed's not fantastic. But yeah, these are all the uh, parts for the ship. Okay. Full of the 
is low quality Super ratings Good thing I do like about Artisania Latina, they do uh, pre mark all the pieces with their numbers. I'm actually, looking through the instructions, all uh, 800 pages of them. There is a lot of work involved in building the uh, skeleton or frame of the ship. I thought the Salil had a lot of parts, but uh, this has a lot more. These are all parts that will make up the skeleton of the ship. We also have some uh, gratings down here, and that would be uh, one of the uh, I don't know if the correct term, crow's nest, up the, up the mast. More of the skeleton. I do know that that will be the very front frame of the ship and then a lot of part, parts slip into that as well. more pieces for the skeleton Get more and then that will be the very back frame as well and then we have all our frames that we will put together as well. And then we have a um, poster. That will be uh, to get difficult to get in shots. I should mount that on the wall behind where I'll be building. So we have a side on shot. I think it's actually one to one scale. And then also top view as well. I actually think it's a really detailed, beautiful ship. Uh, I'll show you the instructions in a moment or we'll flip through some of them. Because like I said there's 800 pages. So I'll just pack this up and then uh, I'll get the instructions. Okay, the instructions don't come in the kit at all uh, with this one. You've got to go on the Artisania's um, website and actually download it, which I've already done. You can see there is a lot to do just on doing the um, um, skeleton or frame of the ship there's something like worked out something like 80 odd pages just involved in uh, doing the skeleton the tablet's updating a little bit slowly but yes as I said there is a lot involved in just the skeleton and the it does have uh, instructions for adding the um, lighting to the kit as well.
rather than uh, going through all 800 pages I'll just pause the video and skip forward to some of the more interesting pieces as I said it shows how to add the lighting to the ship there will be a cover over the um, battery box so you can get in there and change the um, batteries having never done lighting before a little bit nervous about that part but the instructions do look reasonably um, clear uh, so some of the details involved with the rowing strikes actually a bit more of a nicer design to it and as you can see the gun ports are recessed which makes it look quite good showing the uh, um, template for the cutting out for those uh, gun ports Just showing the uh, rigging of the cannons and how they attach to the uh, deck that's the lower deck they should be uh, half covered and then there'll be another deck of cannons above that it shows one of the um, stairwells down to a lower deck as well as uh, something else just a bit of detail in there trying to find they actually have the whole steering mechanism for the ship I'll just see if I can find yes here we go As you can see you've got all the pulleys and ropes that will hook onto the ship's wheel it's quite elaborate quite detailed I think this one going to take me uh, a couple of years to make because I'm going to be really taking my time. I want to do a really good job on this one. I, I believe that even though I'm quite happy with this allele, I did rush it a little. As I said while we were unboxing it, we're actually uh, going to be making the uh, officers quarters as well. And that will be uh, lit up also just little details like this will really add to the overall look of the ship give me a moment I'm trying to find something to show just little details like this is what really impressed me you got little brass pipes that go out the side of the ship and it was for when waves washed over the deck the water would run out through the um, pipes out the side of the ship that's not much but I was quite impressed with that level of uh, detail so anyway I might go through the whole 800 pages of instruction like you can see it is really detailed kit so I'm looking forward to starting that uh, it's actually a, um, a Christmas present from my wife uh, she was going to make me wait till Christmas but she's uh, let me have it now so um, what I'll be doing is uh, one week I'll be happy putting a video out of the Centisma and the following week will be the uh, Salil Rao. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll start this one next week or the week after because I want to get the uh, uh, shrouds and rat lines completed before I move forward on the Salil. So 
uh, next week or possibly the week after we'll start on that. So I hope you'll uh, join me for the new build. Cheers.